All right, you guys, we are back in card simulator here at the nice deck and, um, yeah. So you probably noticed my money. You probably also noticed the 84,000 packs I've opened on the right hand side of the screen. Well, that's because I was pushing for the 2,500 cards. Pull this up. For this one right here, collecting 2,500 cards. And as of right now, we are 15 short. That was until today's update. So I don't know whether to be happy about the update or to be a little irritated about it. I have sunk so much time. And did just sitting here and grinding through packing uh pack openings. But um yeah, so today's update we skip towards the end. There was only a hundred and eleven pages of cards. Today's update added more cards. So that fifteen that we need good come pretty quick they've added more cards for the regular tetramon i don't know if they've added any for the destiny i haven't looked it does oops wrong one it does kind of look that way i haven't checked honestly i i saw that and i wasn't very motivated to keep grinding packs off camera all right so yeah it, it looks like they added extra ones for there too um let's check ghost i don't remember how many ghost had but we did get a few more of the whole art foil ghost cards um i think that's one that we already had possibly so we got that one and that one and that one i think that oh no we also got the the jack turn one too so yeah it doesn't look like they added more for the ghosts at least at first glance i'd have to go back and look at the recording and figure out how many there were we do have a bunch of duplicates and a bunch more duplicates over here like a lot of these are worth quite a bit so yeah i figured we'll just go ahead and open a few more packs with you guys here on camera uh, we'll get like three boxes why not there's two new ones so yeah they they definitely added more these ones are kind of cool looking there's another one. And there it is. So it took us 84,766 acts being opened to actually get 2,500 cards collected. It probably would have been another, like, probably, I don't know, maybe four or 5,000 more packs if it wasn't for the new update. But yeah, with the new update, I'm really surprised they didn't add more achievements. Um, Since they did add the ability to trade cards with customers, I feel like adding more achievements would have been kind of interesting. They could have done a few of, you know, make so many trades with customers or even something along the lines of trade a customer for a you know a card of this value but uh, let's throw a couple of these out i don't remember how many i pulled okay so if nothing else we should be able to make thirty thousand with just the cards that we have out if they all sell now that's a big ask, but we do have everything maxed out. I did upgrade the rest of this area with with the money that I made. 
so they didn't add anything new here i honestly this is the first time i've well technically the second time i've opened the game since the update um let's see did they add anything else in here no accessories did they add anything doesn't really look like it um these might be new i don't think that one is but this one might be i don't remember that uh figurines anything new here we pretty much have almost everything unlocked we've got that one and that one left to unlock Let's see about furniture. Did they add any new furniture? Does not look like it. Okay, well, let's close this, open the shop, and see if it's going to give us credit for the $30,000 in a day. No, we are still in the negative, so it didn't count any of that money. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. That makes sense. So, I guess we just open the shop and let our workers do their thing. Alright, so it doesn't look like our $10,000 card sold. I mean, I guess I could technically lower this price to $10,000. We'll give it one more day, maybe two. And if it doesn't sell, then consider lowering it. Alright, now he should go home. Oh, go home. All right, fine. Let's just end the day. $86,000 profit. So there's that achievement for capitalism. So we basically have to sell a $10,000 card and reach shop level 100. All right. I think the 5,000 customers, I wish there was a way to track how many have played in the shop, but I don't really think there is. There it is. So it must have been that guy, I think. All right, sweet. I think I'm done buying stuff for the shop i'm just gonna sit here and kind of let it play through until i get i don't know at least close to shop level 100 or until i can actually get to the 5,000 people played in the shop so i guess i'll bring you guys back once i get to that point <laughs> so I think I'm causing absolute chaos now. I've sold my stands in here, put an air freshener deal there, and some more tables. But I also added this table. Now they're trapped forever. I don't know if they'll stay after I end the day or not. But if I had to guess, I'd say probably not. I don't know. We'll find out. They're free to leave. They aren't. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to end the day. See what happens. Another good day of profit. They probably don't stay. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't stay. Um, You know what? We'll leave that there. Let's move this. I don't know. Somewhere else. Where can I even move this? I guess right here. Be really the only place I can move it. If I can keep it from snapping into stuff whoops should probably open the shop first huh there we go set that right there that's fine um those are refilled and i'm pretty sure this is refilled all right well we keep going all right well it has been a couple of days and to answer my previous question there is a way to figure out how many people have played in the shop you just have to come here to your game event app on your little phone go all the way to the end so just that day alone we got about 90 people that played in the shop so we've got a little ways to go yet 
Okay, you guys. Well, it has been about a week of just playing off and on. Trying to get everything finished up for this, uh, this series, I guess. And we're close. We're really close. We are at level 99. Just turned level 99. And almost 5,000 people played in the shop. Those are the last two we have to do. If I can pull this up. Should have done this beforehand. So yeah. 5,000 customers. Drop level 100. And we'll be done with all 40 achievements. So. As you can see on the right hand side. Let me try to angle that so it's easier to read. There you go. 133,000. Almost 200. X open I haven't been selling cards I've just been selling the packs for XP and then kicking people off these tables it, it that's about it I've got the table set to $2 an hour it was $1 an hour figure I may as well up it to 2 it's fine and yeah um, actually while I'm explaining stuff may as well go ahead and start the next day real quick so if if you just let people come in, play as long as they want, and then leave, you get about uh, with five tables, six tables, probably like 60 to 70 people, maybe, if you're lucky. But if you kick them off as soon as they start playing, 126 a day. So let's go to day 79, and I will show you what I am talking about. Um, yeah, okay. Those are refilled. So we just gotta wait for people to come in. And then you can just kick them off. And most of the time, if there's someone walking up to the table, as you kick people off of it, then just like that, it, they automatically sit down, start another game. I've had it happen up to three times at the exact same table. Like this guy's gonna sit down, kick him off, that guy sits down. I've had it sometimes. Okay, that guy's gonna, oh, oh, are we gonna get a third? Uh, we just needed one person right there. And he's gonna walk all the way around. Nope, okay. And these guys, I don't know if they add to the total amount of customers in the shop. I'm assuming they do. And at max level, I believe it's like 28 customers you can have in the shop at one time. And that's dependent on the size of your shop and your shop level. So in these, I just decline unless it's a new card they're offering. There's a lot of people that are complaining that I don't have such and such for sale. Yeah, I, I just don't care. I'm just trying to get this over. You, stop. But yeah, I'm only making about, I don't know, anywhere from like 20 cents to 50 cents <laughs> per game. But most of my money is coming from all those packs that I opened, just constantly refilling this. I guess if I wanted to be more efficient, I'd get rid of some of these shelves and just do a couple more of these, but not overly concerned about it. Usually by the time I fill up all these slots and kick these people out, don't care. No, don't want it. Kick those guys. Not a whole lot of XP and people playing in the shop, but hopefully we get there. So... I am going to bring you guys back here in just a couple minutes. We are close. We only need about 24 more people to play. And now it's starting to get a little bit busier, so this is kind of promising. I think that's 20 now we need. These will be the last ones. There it is. Oof. All right, so 5,000 customers played in the shop. 
now we just have to hit shop level 100 so i don't really care what happens in the shop now i mean we've got plenty of stuff to stock these are all just card sleeves because why not make sure these are refilled all right we're good but we're gonna go into here we're gonna buy as many of these as we can actually you know what before we do that let me save the game in case it crashes okay now we're gonna buy as many as we can or maybe just 150 delivery three is three hundred dollars i i think that's uh that's reasonable for 150 boxes now hopefully this doesn't crash the game if you look down here in the bottom corner i'm at 75 fps i've got it locked so oh yeah all the way down to six five can we go lower than five no i mean they're still spawning in so there's still hope there's four Oh, this is atrocious. There's three. Three FPS is what we uh, we ended up with. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to sit here and open packs. And I'll bring you guys back when we get closer to level 100. All right, you guys. We are almost there. It's been... Um... Quite a few boxes. Quite a few boxes. There's still quite a few that I haven't opened yet, but that's right. Just a few more packs and we should be done. And then I'm going to take a decent sized break from this game because it's kind of all consuming at this point, just trying to get it done. And I would like to play some other stuff, put it on the channel a little bit quicker than uh, what this one's doing. There it is. Level 100. Let's go ahead and stop that. And we are 100% complete. I think I'm gonna maybe not play this game for a little while if there's a big uh content update or something along those lines then yeah i'll hop back into it i'll have to clean up this mess but that's all right so i'm gonna leave this off here we 100 percented the entire game all achievements shop level 100 5 000 people's played all kinds of packs opened cards collected i guess i could do this real quick so well, about 99 short of collecting all these ones for the ghosts we are can't do math but i think that's 29 and then a uh, number yeah, we're about 140 shy on these. Somehow still don't have that one pig right there, but that's okay. I think we are calling it there. So if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead, leave a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet. Let me know down in the comments if there's another game you want to see 100%. I will catch you guys in the next one.